Blueprint sites enable you to make a website, then turn it into a reusable template we call a blueprint. For agencies, these blueprints can be used internally to save countless hours of repetitive work that would go into putting your stack of tools, custom code, custom pages onto a website. For educators and for software developers, you can create a blueprint that you give to your students or people that are dem wanting to demo your product so that they can experience it. And for anyone that wants to generate income online, you can sell access to your blueprints publicly. Now, creating a blueprint is super easy. I'm going to show you right now, and then I'm going to show you how you can sell access to your blueprints. First, you're going to want to log into your Zip WP account and create a website. So for me, I'm going to create a blank site and I'll give this a name. I've chosen the name Boilerplate Website. I'll click on site. Of course, you know, this just takes a split second and I'll click right here on the one click login. Now what you'd want to do is put your entire stack of tools in here. So if there's plugins you use for websites that you create, for example, an SMTP plugin, instead of having to manually install it and configure it for every website you make, you can do it one time right here in this blueprint. And when you make a website based on that blueprint, it's already going to be in there and it's already going to be configured. The same goes for maybe a custom code snippet or a child theme or maybe some legal terms, pages on your website or just your preferred settings. You would now go into this site and add all of it to it. So I'll do some customizations to it. Let me show you some of the changes that I made. So first of all, I went into post and I deleted the hello world post. On pages, I went and added a terms and conditions page, got rid of the sample page and published the privacy policy page. You can add all the core pages that you know need to be on the website. And then I have code snippets right here and you can add in all of your code snippets, maybe to customize the login page or to make little tweaks to the website that you like to have on every single website that you make. And then I also added a video player right here, Presto Player. So these are the customizations that I want to make and then reuse and distribute. So now that this is done, we're going to go back into ZipWP. I'll click right here where it says all sites and you can see here is the site. Let me close this notice. Here's the site boilerplate website. Now what you'll want to do is go all the way over to the right where there's three dots. Click on this and then click here where it says create blueprint and you'll want to give it a name and a description and this will be displayed when someone clicks on the link and starts restoring the website. Now I've added in here this template includes the best settings to kickstart your project. I'll click on create and instantly the site that you created has been converted into a blueprint. And here is the link to share this blueprint. So you can click right here where it says copy. And now with that link, anyone can click on it internally. You can share it, you can sell it. And whoever clicks on that link is going to immediately have this website created for them. They don't even need a zip WP account. So let me show you what has changed here in the zip interface. You see the boilerplate website is no longer listed in sites. It's under this new section here that says blueprints. And here is that website. You can see here's how I can log into it. If I want to update or modernize or make some change to this blueprint, I can do that at any time and then regenerate it. So you would log in, make your change. And then there's this icon here that says regenerate blueprint that will update it with the changes that you make. You can put this in a project. Here's the link to the blueprint right here is interesting. It's going to let you know how many times this has actually been clicked on and used. Now, if you want to make any changes to what I just showed you, there's also this option here to edit the blueprint and it's going to allow you to change the name in the short description. Also here, you can disable the link if you no longer want to distribute it, but you don't want to quite delete it. 
you would just go ahead and disable this, but you also have the option here to completely delete this blueprint. So now let me show you what the experience is restoring this blueprint or using this blueprint. So what I'd want to do is click right here to copy the link into my clipboard. And now I'm just going to simply visit this inside of a web browser. Okay, I have clicked on the link and this is what someone will experience when they're restoring this. So if you're an agency and you're just using these internally to kickstart your projects faster, or if you're selling the link, or if you're a YouTube video creator and you want to help the people watching your video follow along better, and you want to provide this link for them to have this site for following along, this is exactly what they're going to experience. You can see right here was the name and then the description. Uh, anyway, so here is the site that was literally just created in a split second and you're going to see when I go to posts, you're going to see the hello world post is gone. So everything that was in that blueprint is now available to the person that clicked on this link. And I can go here and I can see the plugins that were added, the custom code snippets, Presto player. And I also added starter templates. And the reason I did this is because starter templates also has the zip WP AI website builder built into this. So if you're using the zip WP AI website builder, you'd build out your blueprint site and then you would go into starter templates just like this. And then you would build out your website using the AI website builder just by selecting this right here. Now, the person that clicks on that link, uh, they can have access to a new version of that blueprint site for four hours, or they can also create a zip free zip WP account to have access to it for much longer. Or if they already have a zip WP account, it will automatically be added to their account. And so you could see right here where it says boilerplate website at the top of all sites. This is what I just created from that link. It's automatically added to my account and I can have as much access to this as my plan allows. So now let's show the fun part, which is selling your blueprint sites. And this is so easy. What we're going to do is take the link and we're going to sell it with Surecart, which is an e-commerce plugin for WordPress that we also happen to make. So let me go and get that link again. I'm going to go to blueprints. I'll click here and copy it into my clipboard. Now here is a website that Surecart is already installed on. It's super easy to get this on your website. Just go to plugins, add new search for Surecart, one word, install and activate it. There's tutorial videos on this. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to click where it says products and I'm going to create a new product to sell this blueprint site. I'll click on add new and give this product a name. Then I'll click on create. And next, what we'll do is you can give it a description. You can add an image if you optionally want to, and we can set a price. The beauty of Surecart is your products can have multiple prices. So you can sell this with a one-time price with a subscription so people can get access to updates uh, or a split pay option. So I'm going to keep it simple and I'm going to sell it for a one time price. I'll click on add a price. It's set to one time. I'll make this $49. And I, this is an interesting option that would be good if you wanted to actually expire access, meaning uh, you pay this price and you get access for maybe 30 days or 60 days. You might want to do that. And there's this option. I'll just leave it at this, a one time price. I'll click on create price. Now, let me show you where you will add the link to your blueprint site. I'll scroll down and there's op this option right here that says downloads. So you'll click on all add download, but you're going to choose the option that says external link. And let's go ahead and give this a name. I just named it blueprint site and I'm pasting the link to the blueprint site right here where it says link URL and I'll click on add link. So now what's going to happen is when someone purchases this product, they're going to get access to this link. It's actually not just given to them. It'll be displayed inside of a button inside of the customer area, and it will also be a button that's link, uh, emailed to them. Okay, wonderful. So we have this. I'm not going to fill this out more, but you might want to. 
I'm going to turn off tax for this. You can charge EU VAT and all that. And it's a digital product. Perfect. I'll click save and publish. And let's go ahead and uh, this is actually a real fun part of Surecart. You can turn this into an instant checkout page wrapped around this blueprint link. It's pretty cool. I'll click right here for instant checkout. Let's go ahead and make it. I'll put the checkout form in test mode and let's do this. I'll click on view. Actually, let me save this and then I'll click on view and it's going to turn it into a beautiful instant checkout page like this. Over here on the left, it would have shown an image and a further description if I would have entered it. Okay, perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this e-commerce portion out. All right, it's all filled out. I'll go ahead and click on purchase for $49. It's going to process the order and it's going to send me straight on into the customer area and I'll show you what it's like to redeem it. Okay, so I'll click right here where it says manage orders. And here it is, downloads. This is the customer area. It's fully customizable. Uh, so uh, here's the download that I just purchased. I'll click on it. And then I'll click this button here that says download and watch what happens. It's immediately going to give me the buyer access to create a website based upon that blueprint. It's the same that you saw a moment ago and it just takes about 40 seconds and they will have what you just sold them. Here it is, the whole same website. And that's as, as easy as it is to sell access to these blueprint sites. We have big plans for the blueprint feature inside of Zip WP. This is just the beginning and we can't wait to see how you end up using it.